Okay, so to start off this tutorial, what we're going to do is take our yellow wool and starting from the entrance to our building where we have our stairs, we're going to be taking the yellow wool and we're just going to place some markers here on this pillar in the front, here on this pillar next to this entrance to the stairs and also on the opposite side, as well as here and here along the side there, one in this corner ignoring the two pillars there and there, one on each of these side pillars, one on the back, the two on the corner here, ignoring this one, placing one here, ignoring this one and placing one here and here along the back and then you of course want to mirror what we've got so placing one there, there and there, there along the side, then one along the back, uh, two on the side there like so and then up front as well to finish off our markers and then you want to be taking a block of quartz now what you want to do with the block of quartz is place remove your marker and place one two three four blocks then a slab then a slab on the third block across then two blocks then a set of stairs on the two blocks in the very back so we have this sort of curve going up and you want to be adding the same design to everywhere where we've just placed a marker down on each of those pillars going around now i'm going to quickly go around and place in the rest of those i want you to do the same and i'll be right back to you okay so once we have all of those areas in what we can now do is take our quartz again and now we're going to add in all the ones which are a bit odd and don't match the pattern that we just did. So what we want to do is go to this pillar here next to this corner, place two blocks, then a stair, and that's literally it for that area. You then want to be going around to here, and we're going to place one, two, three, four blocks of quartz, our slab on the end, sorry, our slab in the third one across, then two blocks, and then a stair on the end like so. So as you can see, it, get, it gets cut off by this um, line here. Here we're going to add in two blocks going up with our quartz, then two blocks and then it just ends here because it's hidden basically an obstruction. We can go round to the back one here and we're going to place two blocks up, stairs, two blocks like so, then here two blocks two blocks, two across, one next to the two blocks on the top, stair on the back like so, but it gets cut off next to this pillar here. For this one, we're going to place in three blocks, two blocks, the slab on the end, and then the quartz stair next to this section here. And that should be all of them going around, but just before we finish off this area and copy it to the opposite side, we're going to take our stone bricks. And we're just going to start making a line which is one block thick going around all this area, including in these extra little gaps to cover up any grass or whatever sort of natural item you've got around. So that it looks like it's actually part of sort of a city or an area instead of just a random lonely building. So we can go around all of this area and make sure it's connected up to the other stone brick. So it doesn't look out of place. Two blocks, three going there around the corner it's up to you if you fill that in with um, stone bricks or not 
I personally would probably add in some cobblestone or something a bit different to sort of split things up. Maybe keeping it as grass since it is an elven structure. Going down here. Then across. And then leaving it at this here because this area will be different. And then going down here. Placing in the corner there. And back round to match up with the rest of our structure. And there's no gaps. So once you've got that and you've done it to one side, you can then do all of that to the opposite side, which I'm just about to go do. But I want you guys to do it as well. And I'll be right back to you. Okay, so once you've got all of that copied over, you may have noticed there's a weird little green block here. So I'm going to quickly replace that with a stone brick and if you didn't notice it and you didn't fill it in just quickly go and do that now it's just on the front on the sides so once you've got that we can now actually start working on the stairs so for the stairs what we want to do is take our stone bricks and we're going to first off go one two three four across and fill in with stone bricks like so then we're going to place a stone brick stair three blocks two blocks on top of the end two then a slab, leave a block, then another slab, then two blocks with a slab on top like so, and then another block with another block on top, and then it should be another block with a slab on top of that, and we just continue up so it's two blocks, block with a slab on top, two blocks, block, and then a line of blocks all with slabs on top except for the one on the end and obviously whatever is mirrored once we've got that we can then do stair on the opposite side with three blocks then two blocks and a slab then a slab two blocks then a slab then two blocks and then what should be next is a slab so we're going to place on a slab on top but we're just going to bring this right to the end so a line of blocks with slabs on top block here and that's actually what we're going to do to stop some of the shadow stuff from happening we're just going to remove this back one here and place in a block this stuff we can't really do much about unless you just wanted to fill it in with blocks but that's up to you really but i'm just going to leave it as it is once you've got that you should be aligning this area with this block where the slab is to make sure we place them in the right place we can place a line of stone bricks behind the stair here place two blocks two blocks and a block on top two blocks and a block on top two blocks replace the stair with a block on top like so and that should sort of mimic uh, the pattern going up you can change these if you want but i quite like them so i'm going to keep them as they are we can then go back down to the start of the stairs and remove a 3x4 area in which we're going to fill in with stone brick slabs. Cobblestone, row of slabs, row of cobblestone, row of cobblestone with slabs on top to make it easy, row of blocks, row of blocks, slabs on top, row of blocks row of blocks with slabs on top and now we place a line here as well to make this sort of angle here this 90 degree angle and we just fill this section in with slabs quite easily like so then a line of blocks line of blocks with slabs on top line of blocks line of blocks with slabs on top and then finally a line of sorry a line of slabs not a line of blocks because we want to basically keep a consistent one block height between the actual floor and the side parts so if we fill in this area here and then going along here we want to remove this small banister here or this small section place in our cobblestone slabs and then we're just going to edit it to make sure that we actually have a consistent sort of flow going up and around with the stone stone brick blocks as you can see 
with that little sort of area here would match up to here and then go around now as i say you can sort of alter this to match the rest of the outline but i kind of prefer not to do that just with this particular build because it's a bit uh, complicated and sort of has mixed looks about it then if we just place a row of blocks up to this chisel stone here or even up to the corner just like so just so we have it in and ready for next time um, and that will also be very helpful as well so once you've actually done all of that and you've got your stairs in what you can then do is copy everything you've just done over to the opposite side so you have two two sets of stairs going up i'm going to quickly go and do that i want you to do the same and i'll be right back to you so once we've got both sets of stairs in what we can then do is take our birchwood stairs and we're just going to go around and add a small little bit of extra detail to each of these pillars so we're going to place in a right way around stair with a birch fence up below it and then an upside down stair and then a slab on top just like so very plain very simple and very easy to add in what we can then do is just take a marker again and we're going to show off where we can actually place these so we're going to be placing one here <laughs> here now if you're curious about this one it's literally just um the stair with an upside down stair and if you want you convert you can convert the slab beneath into an actual block to fill up any gap like so and then we can take our yellow wool again and we're going to mark it here here and here as you can see they're far enough apart so it won't actually connect here here and here along the sides along the back here here and here one here once again won't connect so it should be good one here and here here and here along the back and then obviously mirror everything as well so that should all all these pillars should pretty much have the little design that we want to add in on the areas we can actually do it obviously don't want to add one here or here just on the areas that we've marked going all the way around so I'm going to go and quickly add the rest of these in. I want you to do the same and I'll be right back to you. Okay, so once all of those bits of detail are in, what we can then do is take our um, quartz stairs and we're just going to place upside down stairs above each of these little bits of detail that we've added in going all the way around on both sides. Adding it in. And these are the little bits that we deliberately skipped out before just to make things easier on actually the construction part of things. So around the back, along the back here, and all of the stairs are in like so. Now that we have that, take our block of quartz and also a quartz pillar. And in these little corners here, we're just going to place a block of quartz and a sideways quartz pillar like so just to fill up that gap there once we've got that in we can also take some birchwood stair and we're looking for the corners we added in like this one here so we're going to place our quartz pillar in the corner and then three slabs like so and we can place it here as well obviously there's none along here or along the front but there is another one here on the opposite side which we can quickly add in oops just like so going round that doesn't look like to be oh no there's one here on the back and that should mean that there's one here as well that we can add in oops just like so so we have all of those little bits of detail in we can then take our stone bricks and we're just gonna go round the inner circumference which doesn't make a lot of sense but it does of the inner section here and we're just going to keep going round until all of this area is filled in going around oops yep that's fine let's just go with it like so so all of that should be in now and now what we do is we take our cobblestone slabs 
Place two going across on the end here. Then take the stone brick and place one on the end of the two. Then place a line of stone bricks up to, up to the point where you're two away from here. So we place two in there and then two here. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring these down until they connect like so. And there should be this little square here. And then we bring this across till it's two away again. And then we bring it down like so until it connects to the actual end. So it's just going along the side. And of course, just like we did, did there, we're just going to be doing exactly the same on the opposite side. To make sure that it's all symmetrical. So that should be two there. And there should be a line going down like so. Once you've got all that in, you want to be taking your cobblestone and in between this pathway area or these outline area here, you want to be filling this area with the slabs. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and fill in the rest of this little space here with slabs. I want you to do the same and I'll be right back to you. So once you've got all of that sort of walkway filled in, what you can then do is take your stone bricks again. We're going to go to the very back here. We're going to go one, two, three down the side. Bring it out by one, then two, three, four. So we have four blocks here. Two to fill in this little gap. So we should have three blocks along here. And then the third block, we're going to place one out. Then two across to make three. This should then have one, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. Followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then two, three, four, five, six to match there. Then we should be going one, two, three to make four across. And then we're going to go two, three, four, five. So we have five blocks across here. Then three up. Then three across or two across, shall I say. Then we're going to go two, three, four down one across and then connect up with that but we're actually going to remove three blocks here and move them back by one block and fill in the gap with cobblestone slabs and then we're going to make sure that that is copied over to this side correctly so we're going to make sure that there's one two three going up then one across three more added on three across then four then one two three to make a three block gap and then one more to bring it across three blocks up two three four five six then two three four five to connect it up and that should get, go around all right except for along the back where we need to add in our little bit extra to fill it in like so so that should now be all symmetrical then we can take our stone bricks and we're just going to fill in the space between any of the edges between the stone brick except for this large center area where we'll be adding in a different block in a moment so just hold up on the actual main area so we fill all of this in all of here in on both sides until it's all filled in I'm sure you can all hear my mouse clicking away so once we've got all of that in we can then take our birch wood slabs and on the lower half of the block going around we're just going to fill in all of this center section which we can all quickly do together to hopefully make sure that it all gets put in correctly We just fill in all of this once again my mouse clicking away you can probably hear until it's all filled in oops we're almost there I mean I've probably only got about half done 
But I'm sure you guys are way ahead of me when you're doing this. And probably a hundred times better at clicking. So we make sure all of this is filled in. So that we have a nice floor to separate us from the walkway and the actual structure. Now you can either do this with birch wood or regular wood, it doesn't really matter, just make it look nice and filled in, like so. And then once you've actually got all of that done, you are actually done for the foundation section um, of this building, as well as this actual video. So I'm going to say thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment, and check out my other tutorials if you haven't done so already. I will see you guys next time, where we actually start working on the main centre of the structure. See you guys next time. Bye.